live and by live i mean we're pre-recording this so we can edit it down later in case we make any mistakes thank you so much for joining us for another episode of beyond the device i'm joined with the fantastic true software team pete and sarah they're going to intro themselves in just a minute but i thought it would be really good this time around is to show a video of what true software is because it really helps explain exactly what we're talking about here so i'm going to click this button work used to be a place with a start time and an end time and then Technology exploded, work became mobile, and mobile got smart. Suddenly, the workplace and work hours weren't so predictable. Less structure, less control. And harnessing the power of mobile technology seemed to come with a choice. Limit usability or put your employees, your data, and your operations at risk. In this connected world, why should there be a trade-off between managing mobility and maximizing the value it offers to work and workers? Truce is the first ever contextual mobility management platform. Truce empowers you to manage access precisely, when, where, and the way you decide. So this nurse can see a patient's medical history here, but not here. This driver can use a map, but not send or read a text. This lineman can check a work order while on the ground, but not when he's in the air. Once you define your policy, What's around a device determines what's on a device, instantly, automatically, allowing you to protect your people, safeguard sensitive data, and improve productivity. Devices are smarter than ever. Your mobile management strategy can be, too, with Truce. Thank you guys again for uh, making time. This is very exciting. I'm I'm really looking forward to working with you guys in uh, at the at the very last uh, last month here of uh, 21 and into 22. We're going to be doing some pretty great things together, hopefully. Um, so to give you guys uh, just a quick intro, I know who you are, both Sarah and Pete. We we all work together, uh, but the audience listening or watching might not. So uh, Pete, over to you first, then to Sarah. Could you give us an introduction and uh, take it from there? Great. Thanks, Reed. My name is Pete Plotas. I work for True Software. I'm our VP of Global Alliances and uh, run the uh, the Alliance and Partner Show here at True. So thanks for having us. Awesome. Sarah, over to you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm Sarah Heibel. I'm the U.S. Channel Manager here at True Software, and it's great to be here. Awesome. Likewise. Again, thank you guys so much for making time. Uh, so the video, let's get right into it, uh, mentioned, I think the video does a really good job of kind of like highlighting what that is. So if you're only listening on audio, definitely take a, uh, take a minute to check out the YouTube post so you can see the video in full and also meet these wonderful people. Uh, but the video mentioned contextual mobility uh, platform. What is that exactly? Pete, over to you first, sir. Yeah. So what we say about contextual mobility is that it is what's going on around the mobile user about their work environment, where they are, what they're doing, what's going on around them. It's being able to understand those things and those inputs, and we call those inputs context, and that informs how people use mobile devices. Okay, and then also uh, within that context, and I know sometimes uh, we, we've talked about this a couple of times offline, one of the things that's come up a few times is elevated risk. And so I wanted to dig into that a little bit more as well. When you talk about the, the management platform, the contextual mobility platform, excuse me, and then elevated risk, what does that exactly mean, elevated risk? Yeah, that's a big deal across the workplace. So we're talking about deskless workers, those people that aren't in an office. And typically when you have field teams, they're out there doing their job, they're out on, on a job site, they're up a telephone pole or uh, on a construction site, or even in a warehouse, let's say, doing stuff. Um, those kinds of work situations inherently require focus. And that, that inherently carries a bit of elevated risk when it comes to the use of mobile devices. And so what Truce does is it uses the context to address the fact that you have this confluence of needing to use mobile devices and using them properly and in a focused way, in a safe way, in the context of an elevated risk scenario. So that's what we solve for. Okay, awesome. So you're talking, again, just to recap, uh, movement, vibration, proximity, location, you get in a fork, lo a, fork lo a fork lift, and you go to use an application on a mobile device that might not be approved, let's say uh, Netflix. Not to pick on Netflix, everyone loves Netflix, obviously, but let's say you get on the fork lift, you go to touch uh, the Netflix thing, uh, app button, and it's not even going to be there. You can't even find it, correct? That's right. That's right. So true senses a lot of different things. It senses motion, vibration, proximity. It uses geolocation, time, date, all of the things that you can imagine 
that would be inputs to say, what is this worker doing? Where are they? What's going on around them? How do we use all those things to serve up the right access that they need at that right moment? And then to that point, uh, that mobile device, let's say uh, they're in a RAM mount, uh, they could take that mobile device out, leave, uh, maybe go on the, out of the warehouse uh, to take a lunch break, and that mobile device uh, now has access to things like a Netflix or their texting application or whatever else they might natively have on their device. Is that, is that, is that did I get that right? Yeah, you got it. That's a great example of a use case. So you can you can take that scenario and say, okay, some person is working in a, a factory floor or in a warehouse and they are operating a forklift so there's a way that they need to use the mobile device in that scenario then they pick up that mobile device or maybe a, a personal device and they're walking out of the factory and maybe they're going to another location or going home at night and the company says you should have access to certain things when you're off the clock and you're off shift and you shouldn't have access to certain things private information data files applications whatever it is so there's all sorts of um, scenarios that we like to call them and zones. One of them is in the case of behind the wheel. Another one is in and around heavy equipment. Another one is on premise. So those are all kind of the multitude of things that we sort of simplified it down to three zones. Okay, awesome. All right, so again, right access at the right time, uh, meaning that we're keeping our workers safe. That's a very important thing, not just productivity, but actually keeping them safe, especially, uh, which is uh, dovetails nicely into the verticals that you guys play in. So can you, uh, Pete, just walk us through a little bit of those? I would imagine just from our conversation, warehouse is probably one of them. Uh, but can you talk a little bit about the other verticals uh, past just the warehouse? Absolutely. So think about all of those workers that work in industrials segments. So that includes warehouse, logistics, manufacturing, distribution, um, construction, last mile delivery, uh, utilities, energy, mining, all of those things. And, and those three common elements, um, you know, it, it, that, that have a confluence there. But those are the key kind of um, industries that we focus on. Awesome. And Sarah, over to you. I want to get just dig in a little bit more to those specific things that Pete uh, just talked about, like the deskless workforce, uh, high risk environments. Can you just talk a little bit about uh, like some of those use cases uh, where you guys have seen successes, just a little bit more granular and even maybe mention yeah, company names if you can. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Deskless workers that are constantly moving through different environments and situations throughout their workday. Um, and, you know, mobility is going to be critical for them to actually do their job and complete their tasks at hand. Um, and so really some good use cases. Um, one, for example, is a warehouse staff in a distribution company. Uh, they're going to be needing mobile devices to utilize the, the inventory management applications or pick list applications to stay productive and work as efficiently as possible. Um, and Truce ensures that those required applications are accessible at the right time, but not when the warehouse workers, per se, um, operating the forklift. They obviously should not be using Netflix, not to account Netflix, but they shouldn't be watching a movie as they're operating a, a forklift down the warehouse aisle. Um, and like Pete mentioned, Truce can sense the vibration and the movement of that forklift um, to suppress the application and access on that device. Um, and so while the vehicle or the equipment's being operated. And so once they, it senses that, hey, the forklift has stopped, that, you know, it allows applications to come back and to be accessed. Um, and if the company uses MDM, Truce would be able to trigger the MDM, to, the MDM to dynamically change the access automatically. So, and in real time. So the employee really has no disruption in their, in their access or use of the mobile device. Um, a second one is a line worker at a secure manufacturing facility. Obviously, if they have proprietary information or really, really critical information being um, being processed, if they're exiting the facility or going to a different building, um, they obviously don't want to be able to access certain applications or data from the company. So um, Truth will actually be able to um, limit the access of the business applications or data um, once they leave the facility. And mm. again, we can automatically ensure appropriate access and um, maintain data security for the employees upon entry and exit um, for a particular facility or location. Um, and the access permissions are modified as fast as the workday happens. So, you know, if they have to you know, run quickly over to a different job site, um, we'll, we'll detect it and automatically apply the, the right access. So. 
That's very cool. Yeah, especially it's funny that I you get so I at least I, I got so in the weeds on like contextual mobility, specifically in environments. You don't even think about the data security and the privacy uh, that would exist for the organization that once they leave a site, they don't even access the company records, uh, exactly, which is also yep. very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And you mentioned something, I think, uh, uh, about MDM. Truce is not MDM. And this is, I know when we first started talking, uh, that was a mistake that I made. I was like, oh, this is a really sweet MDM platform. And you're like, aha, it's much more than that. So can you talk a little bit about that specifically, that you guys are not an MDM, you're actually working with some really big partners in the space? Yeah, you want me to take that? Yeah, please, yeah, yeah please. absolutely, please. <laughs> yeah, sure, so, so look here, the, the real difference is this, MDM is really focused on managing the device. And that means, you know, the applications, the policies, um, the permissions, all of those things, right? And it also has to do a lot with deployment and making it easy for people to to have the right access um, to the to the systems that are necessary. Um, Truce is not that. Truce is at the mobile use layer. So we focus on how the device is used. And when we talk about the context and all the things that Truce senses, when there's a corporate MDM being used, which for most of the cases of big enterprises, there is an MDM, Truce sits right on top of the MDM and it's right underneath the application layer. So the users don't use Truce. It governs how they use the, the mobile device. And so Truce triggers that MDM to do what it needs to do to switch those profiles, to switch those permissions, so that user sees the right things and accesses those right things at the right moment. That's that's very slick. And also a uh, really important user uh, user experience, the UX design. It can't, you can't be logging into seven th different things just to get that thing to work. That's great. Um, now, you guys are not new. Uh, to this industry, though this is a very new, um, I think, uh, new maybe not new concept, but um, well applied uh, concept for the first time that I've ever seen it done. So in my brain, I go, oh yeah, Truce is very net new to this industry as far as like what your successes are. But again, I can't uh, stress this enough. I always like to talk about other customers uh, and other wins that we can reference in case you're looking for a platform like this. Um, you have 400 plus customers. Can you talk a little bit about the use cases? Uh, and Sarah, or I guess I'll bring you back into this, specifically the warehouse employee that we talked about. Uh, but can you give us a, uh, just a little bit more of a, a specific um, customers, if you can mention them? I think there was a, a lawn maintenance company. Can we talk about them by name? Yeah, so we can talk about Terminex because there's a great video uh, that they produced um, about their use of Truce. Um, Sarah, do you want to chat about uh, Terminex a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So Terminex was um, deploying iPhones to their technicians. And obviously, if you're moving to iPhones, that brings a lot more distractions because it has a lot more functionality and applications on it. And so Terminex wanted to make sure while they're deploying the iPhones to their technicians, they're doing it in a safe and productive way. So they actually put truth on top of those iPhones. Um, and so and I believe they deployed 9,000 iPhones across their, their different divisions. So a, uh, very a lot of large project. Yeah, a lot of iPhones, right? Um, we are actually able to help them, you know, maintain promote, um, technician productivity, but also safety. And they saw actually 15% reduction in accidents, as well as a million dollars in cost savings by implementing and deploying truth to their, to their technicians. That's a, that's a pretty big cost savings. Absolutely. It's a, it's really big for the bottom line. And, you know, a lot of other customers see that once they deploy truth and they have it running for at least 12 months, they see great impacts, not only to their bottom line, but also worker safety because workers are their number one asset. Yeah. Oh yeah. hundred percent. And actually that dovetails really nice into another piece that you makes you guys very unique, which is privacy, uh, or privacy as my friends across the pond call it. But, um, the, uh, <laughs> in all serious privacy is a, of a great concern for a lot of folks and for, for all the right reasons. Uh, and so I think, uh, most people hear or see something like this and they immediately go, ah, you're tracking my every movement. You're, t yeah, you're stealing all my, st it's, that's not what's happening here. Privacy is extremely important to you guys. So can you just talk a little bit about that? I, I, Pete, I, over to you first. Yeah, sure. So, you know, privacy is one of the key pillars of what we do uh, it, to protect the user in all of this, because that's the most important unit, unit of measure, right? Um, and what do we mean by that is, when Truce is active and, and on the job, working uh, to make sure that that user has all the right access, we really focus on not doing several things. Truce does not track how they use the device. Truce doesn't track what they're doing, what applications they're accessing, the search criteria, 
um, doesn't track, you know, where people are and where they went in their day. None of those things. What Truce does is it simply senses inputs and those inputs come together. And if that that soup of inputs and, and how it came together triggers a policy, then it simply just makes sure that that user has those permissions according to that policy. But it doesn't remember what happened and and why and, and tracking history and anything like that. So privacy is a huge um, component of what we do. And that's why enterprises trust Truce when they deploy it out to their field teams. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. And I can't, I can't harp on that enough because privacy always comes up, uh, especially with data being uh, tracked and gathered everywhere. So that's a very important key, key feature. If you are rolling this out and your employees are using it, fear not, there is no privacy violations. Um, guys, this is a quick one today, uh, which is awesome. It'll give you some snackable bite-sized information. Before we get out of here, Pete, Sarah, do you have any closing comments or anything else we uh, want to talk about before we leave? Sarah, over to you. No, yeah, I mean, just really um, honing on the fact that, you know, truce is in effect for as long as that that employee is in the environment they're in and doing the job at hand. So, you know, there's, and like Pete just mentioned, we don't watch, we're not big brother, we're not watching out, you know, what you guys are doing on your mobile devices. We're just making sure that we are keeping you productive and keeping you safe while using your mobile device in your workday, no matter where it takes you. Yeah, and the last thing I would say is, um, truce makes mobile devices adaptable. So, mm -hmm. For anybody listening and watching, if there is a customer out there that is thinking about deploying mobility out to their workforce outside the office environment, and they're thinking about doing it because their workers need to remain connected, and they also need to make sure that they're doing things according to company policy, that this is the solution that solves that problem. And it makes those devices intelligent and, and contextually aware. And so that's that's what we do. Awesome. Guys, thank you so much for making time. Uh, and guys, thank you so much for uh, listening or watching. Uh, if you want to learn more about True Software or if you need to talk to Sarah B, please feel free to reach out to us at sales at 3itech.com. at sales at the number 3eyetech.com. Thank you guys again for watching. Click like and subscribe and be sure to check us out for the next episode of Beyond the Device. It's a secret. I can't tell you who we're having on, but I promise it's very cool. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the internet. Bye. Thanks. Thank you.